You think only Boeing is having quality problems? This will make you think again. Their heavyweight rival from Europe, Airbus, is also facing horrible similar issues. Yes, you heard right. Both aviation titans are grappling with problems that are shaking the industry. Whether you're a diehard Boeing fan, a loyal Airbus supporter, or just curious about what's happening in the aviation world, don't skip this episode. What exactly is going on with Airbus and how will it impact stakeholders? Let's dive in. Recently, with the numerous issues faced by Boeing aircraft, it seemed that Airbus would be able to capitalize on this advantage and continue to dominate the market, leveraging its strengths. However, the opposite has happened, as it has been grappling with its own set of challenges. The engines for the company's smaller A220 models have been experiencing durability problems, grounding many of the jets that use them. When a door seal on a Boeing 737 MAX 9 burst in January, Airbus informed investors that it would make every effort to take full advantage of the competitive opportunity created by the restrictions imposed on Boeing's operations by the Federal Aviation Administration. Instead, they had to deal with their production constraints. In June, the company told investors that it would reduce the number of planes it anticipated delivering this year. But what was the outcome? Airbus CEO Guillaume Faurie told analysts during a call in July that the company is facing a deteriorating operating environment with specific supply chain issues in our commercial aircraft business. The aircraft manufacturer has made every effort to address those issues with joint improvement plans. However, that's not all. A series of more serious problems are continuing to unfold. First, on December 12th, an Air Canada Airbus A220 from Los Angeles, California to Montreal, Quebec, took off from Los Angeles at 9.52 local time, one hour and two minutes later than the scheduled departure. However, about three and a half hours into the flight, the aircraft diverted to Minneapolis, Minnesota due to an engine failure. Nearly 24 hours later, the plane remained grounded in Minnesota. The aircraft in question is an Airbus A22300 delivered to Air Canada in June 20th, 21 from Airbus facilities in Mirabel to Toronto Pearson. At the time, the flight was cruising at 35,000 feet, about 170 nautical miles west-southwest of Minneapolis, when the crew reported an engine issue and diverted to Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. The Airbus A22300 is equipped with Pratt & Whitney PW1524G engines. This is not the first time these engines have caused issues. Specifically for Air Canada, on June 15th, CGVUN was operating flight AC355 from Ottawa to Calgary when the crew received a left engine oil pressure indication and diverted to Toronto. Before this incident, the FAA stated, an uncommanded dual engine shutdown upon landing, resulting in compromised braking capability due to the loss of engine power and hydraulic systems. The unsafe condition, if not addressed, could result in a runway excursion. After that, Pratt & Whitney requested additional inspections in early 2023, particularly for engines that had been in service for extended periods, to identify issues early and mitigate safety risks. These incidents have affected both domestic and international flights of Air Canada, causing operational disruptions. Is that all? Of course no. We will explore after this, but before doing that, listen to me. You won't want to miss hot news and our interesting analysis about aviation. So please subscribe if you're new here. We would appreciate it if you like, share, and leave your thoughts below. Thanks a lot. Second, the most recent and notable issue involves Egypt Air and its aircraft. While engine problems with this aircraft model have been reported across various airlines, the harsh operating conditions in the Middle East are believed to have exacerbated the challenges for this Egyptian carrier. The National Airline of Egypt sold 12 A22300 Dura, which were only three to four years old, to the Lesser Azora in February of this year. Initially, this airline acquired these A220 for its regional division, Egypt Air Express, to replace its Embraer E170. Their experience with the aircraft has been far from smooth. The first plane was delivered on December 20th, 19, but the fleet encountered serious issues with the GTF engine's combustor. The airline seems to have made significant efforts to address these problems. According to the then chairman of Egypt Air Holding Company, Captain Amr Abu Elanen, who revealed the issue to Arabian Aerospace Magazine at the Dubai Air Show in 2021, the problem was so severe that at least 15 out of 24 engines had to be replaced unexpectedly within the first two years of operation. Third, 
Delta Airlines flight 475 from Boston to San Francisco had to turn back due to an engine issue, but landed safely without any incidents on June 21st at 6.15 p.m. Delta's maintenance team quickly assessed the aircraft. However, the plane has remained grounded in Boston since then. Passengers were later transferred to an alternative service. The flight was operated by an A321neo, which initially took off heading south before turning north over the Boston Harbor Islands. The flight only reached an altitude of around 1,800 feet after detecting the engine issue and quickly turned around near Ipswich before returning to Boston Airport. This aircraft was first delivered to the Sky Team member on October 13, 2022 and is equipped with two Pratt and Whitney PW1133G engines. At full capacity, the plane can carry 20 passengers in business class, 42 in premium economy, and 132 in economy class. Engine issues have led to the grounding of several aircraft for emergency maintenance and repairs, disrupting Delta's flight schedule. Do you think it ended? Still not yet. Recently, as we mentioned in a previous video, Cathay Pacific's Airbus A350 has encountered an issue with the fuel nozzle inside the XWB97 engine, a Rolls-Royce engine model used on the 1000 variants. The airline, one of the largest operators of long-haul jets in the world, reported that they discovered the engine part failure on flight CX-383 from Hong Kong to Zurich on Monday. The plane then returned to Hong Kong. The five-year-old A350-1000 made two wide circles and dumped fuel over the sea before safely landing back in Hong Kong approximately 75 minutes after takeoff. Cathay Pacific stated that the issue was identified in an engine part after the aircraft returned to Hong Kong. The airline also mentioned that the issue occurred on one of its 18A351000 aircraft. Since then, they have identified 15 aircraft with engine components needing replacement, and three aircraft have already been repaired. This incident led Cathay Pacific, Hong Kong's national airline, to cancel dozens of flights to inspect its entire Airbus A350 fleet after discovering the engine issue affecting the aircraft. The ESA ordered an engine inspection of a leading Airbus jet on Thursday. They also stated that it is taking action to prevent similar events after consulting with regulators and accident investigators in Hong Kong, where Cathay is based, as well as Airbus and engine supplier Rolls-Royce. Fortunately, the engine issues have not caused any serious incidents that would endanger human lives. However, if a serious incident were to occur, it could challenge the trust in the civil aviation industry, which is renowned for being one of the safest modes of transportation, though it is not entirely free from incidents. Aircraft and engine incidents significantly impact airlines, manufacturers, and engine suppliers, causing financial losses, reputational damage, and operational disruptions. For airlines, engine failures lead to major operational disruptions. Grounding aircraft for maintenance or repairs results in lost revenue from canceled flights and increased operational costs. For example, Air Canada's issues with its Airbus A220 engines led to the suspension of several aircraft affecting its schedule and revenue. Additionally, safety concerns can erode passenger trust and decrease ticket sales, posing long-term challenges, especially during expansion or market competition. Aircraft manufacturers face substantial financial losses due to design or technical faults. They are responsible for warranty claims and the costs of repairs or replacements, which can disrupt production schedules and cash flow. The Boeing 737 MAX crisis, caused by design flaws, led to a global grounding, damaging Boeing's reputation and trust with airlines, and delaying new projects and recovery. Engine manufacturers also suffer significant losses when failures occur. They must cover repair and replacement costs globally, as seen with Rolls-Royce and its Trent 1000 engines on the Boeing 787. The widespread problems resulted in extensive repairs, financial losses, and a decline in brand reputation. A loss of trust from airlines can lead to the loss of contracts or stricter future terms. Does this suggest that the quality of Airbus aircraft is on the decline? The fact that Airbus hasn't faced as much criticism as Boeing, despite experiencing similar issues, might be because no fatalities have occurred yet. A stroke of luck for Airbus. As for Boeing, with its long history of problems, continuing to make mistakes only deepens the dissatisfaction among passengers and airlines. Meanwhile, Airbus still has the chance to fix things, and customers seem more forgiving toward Airbus. Is this a double standard? That's the question for you. 
Share your thoughts below. Thank you and safe travels.